Welcome to the Gentle Fitness Exercise Routine. For today's session, we will need a pair of free weights and a sturdy chair. When you're ready, let's get started. Starting off with our neck bends from side to side, tilting your head towards one shoulder, bring the head up, and then over towards the other shoulder. Just gently going back and forth from one shoulder to the next. Great, now taking it into our neck rotations from side to side, turning the head from one side, back to center, and then around to the other side. Again, moving nice and slowly from one side to the next. Great, now taking it into our shoulder circles, extending the arms out to your sides, then making circles going towards the front. Good, now relax and taking it into our gentle torso turns. By placing your hands on the outside of one thigh, turning towards that side, back to center, and then around to the other side. Just gently turning the upper body from one side to the next. Great, now let's add an arm reach. So extending, reaching the arm across the body as you're turning. Good, reaching high. Let's go for a few more seconds here. Great, now next moving into our heel digs with front arm reach. You may ne need to sit close to the edge of your seat for this one. Extend the leg out to the front as you reach the arms forward, moving from one leg to the other leg. Good, that's it. Dig and reach. Dig and reach those arms. Let's go for a few more seconds here before we take it into our V steps coming up. All right, good. So readjusting your body, taking it into our V steps next. So you're going to start with the heels together, then step forward into a big V, step back together into a small V. Step forward, big V, back together, small V. Great, now switch that leading leg by stepping forward with the other leg first.
All right, nicely done. Let's just march it out here, lifting those knees and taking it into our hand to knees. So lifting the knee, tapping the hand to the opposite knee. So lift the knee as high as you're able to manage. Of course, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you would aim to lift the knee a little bit higher. Just tapping the hand to the knee as we're lifting. Yeah, that's it. Just a few more seconds. And then we'll take it into our speed bag. All right, great. Circling those fists around each other for the speed bag. And if you're able to keep moving those feet, just marching as we're going into the speed bag. All right, reversing that speed bag now. Just a few more seconds here. All right, and relaxing those arms for the speed bag taking it into our invisible jump rope next. So turning that invisible rope by your sides and lifting those feet off the ground. So remember we have the option here of lifting both feet at the same time or alternating feet. So lifting one foot and then the other. Great, now let's reverse that jump rope. Good, taking it backwards. Less than about five seconds to go. All right, and relax. Okay, let's take a moment to have a drink of water, catch your breath before we move on to our next round. When you're ready, just back to marching on the spot. We'll be standing. All right, so starting off here with our hip hinges. When you're ready, slightly bend those knees and bend at the hips as you lean the body forward, keeping that neutral spine and stand back up nice and tall. Good, bend, and then standing tall. All right, let's add an arm reach out with this, alternating from one arm to the next. This way you're still able to hold on with one hand on the chair, but if you're able to lift both arms up and feel comfortable letting go of the chair altogether, you're welcome to do so. Let's go for a few more seconds here. All right, now taking it into our partial squats next. Again, still behind the chair, feet about hip width apart as you bend those knees and sit back onto that invisible high chair and then stand up tall. Good, 
Good, just sitting back into that invisible high chair. Only bend the knees as much as you're able to manage to bring yourself back up. Let's see if we can make it for less than 10 more seconds. All right, great. Now taking it into our calf raises, lifting those heels up off the ground. And if you're comfortable reaching one arm up as you lift the heels, and then on the other lift, reach the other arm up. And if you're feeling quite confident with your balance, as you're lifting those heels up, you can let go of the chair and reach up with both hands. Remember safety first. So we pick the option that works best for us, that challenges us, but still allows us to be safe while we're exercising. Just a few more seconds. And then we'll march it out. All right, marching it out here. And if you're able to let go and allow those arms to swing by your sides, go ahead and do so. Marching it out. All right, and here, if you're able to add that speed bag, let's circle the fists around each other as we're marching. All right, let's see if we can now reverse that speed bag. Just a few more seconds, and then we'll take it into our side tap and reach. All right, nicely done. So tap the foot out as you reach the arm across the body. So tap and reach the arm across the body. So the arm and leg go in different directions here. Good, just reaching high. Good, still tapping the feet, now reaching the arm a little bit lower, reaching low. Great, now taking it into our half jacks by stepping one foot out as you bring the arm out at the same time and then switching to the other side. Just alternating from one side to the other side. That's it, we'll go for about 10 more seconds before we go into another water break round. All right, and relax. We'll take a moment, catch your breath, have a drink of water if it's needed, and when you're ready, you can march on the spot or have a seat will be sitting down for the next round. All right, when you're ready, marching on the spot again, or simply have a seat. We will be sitting for our next round of exercises, starting off with just our body weight. 
So just getting yourself set up here. All right, in a few seconds, we'll be starting off here with our chest squeeze and shoulder blade squeeze. So when you're ready, getting those arms up into cactus arms position, bring the hands and elbows together in front, open up the arms and squeeze the shoulder blades on the way back. Good, just think closing and opening. Squeezing the chest muscles together in front and then squeezing the shoulder blades together behind. Great, just a few more seconds here. All right, now taking it next into our bent over rows. So sitting close to the front edge of your seat, bending at the hips, reaching the arms down. Pull the arms up as you squeeze the shoulder blades together and then return to the starting position. Good, pull up and squeeze and lower down. Great, let's go for a few more seconds. All right, and rest here. All right, let's take it into our wood choppers next. So bringing the arm up above the head and then chopping down diagonally across the body. All right, switching to the other side, same thing. All right, all right, now we're ready for those weights. So picking up your pair of light weights, setting up for our bent over rows, this time using those weights. So now we know the movements, we'll be doing it with the weights. All right, good, and relax. Next, taking it into our front shoulder press. Good, pushing up and lower it back down. Push up and bring it down. About 10 more seconds before we move into our bicep curls. In three, two, and one. Just making sure those elbows stay by your sides as you're curling the weight up and lowering it down. All right, good. Now into our front shoulder raise. We'll just hold a single dumbbell with both hands held in between your knees. Good, and then raise the weight up and then lower it back down.
10 more seconds. All right, very good. We'll take a moment, have another water break here. Just relax your muscles before we go into our second set. All right, about 15 more seconds to go. We will be picking up our weights for the next round again, just to go into our second set, starting off with our bent over rows. So sitting towards the front edge of your seat, hinging forward at those hips as you lower the weights down towards the ankles, pulling the weights up, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Great, we'll go for about 10 more seconds before we move into our front shoulder press. All right, and relax. Taking it into our front shoulder press next. Pressing the weights up and back down in front. Great, that's it. About 10 more seconds to go. And then we'll take it straight into our bicep curls. In five, four, three, two, and one. About five more seconds, and then we'll switch into our front shoulder raise. All right, just resting one weight down. So for this one here, we'll maybe do just one arm at a time, holding onto the weight in one hand as you raise the weight straight up in front and back down. All right, great. Now switching to the other arm, holding the weight in the other hand. Raise the weight straight up to